We all know The Simpsons as one of the most famous cartoon families. But the show is also widely known for its strange history with predicting the future. From predicting the outcome of the 2016 election all the way to predicting the storming of Capitol Hill and everything in between. That's what I'll be covering on today's top 10 list. Starting off this countdown, we have Trump's presidency. I swear, this is the prediction that started it all. Back in 2000s, The Simpsons aired an episode titled Bart to the Future. Basically, in this episode, Bart gets a glimpse into what the future is gonna be like. In the episode, we see that Lisa Simpson is the president and is attempting to rebuild the economy after President Trump has left the office. In the episode, during a cabinet meeting, we see Lisa in the Oval Office as she talks about the aftermath of President Trump's reign. She actually uses the words President Trump. And then fast forward a couple of years later, Trump indeed became president. Now this shocked a lot of people because how did they predict his presidency 16 years before it actually happened? Like that's just too freaky. Coming in at number nine, we have the economic prediction. And if you guys are liking this video so far, then make sure to give it a big thumbs up because you know what, it really helps us out. In the same episode and the same scene I was just talking about, we see what happens after Trump leaves office. While in the show, Lisa ends up being his successor, which obviously is not gonna happen in real life because she's not real. We do see something that Lisa has to deal with that might be similar to what Joe Biden will have to deal with. In the episode, after being voted the next president, Lisa mentions how she will be taking office in a time where the economy is really, really struggling. And you know what? The pandemic has had an unprecedented effect on not just the American economy, but has truly impacted our global economy as well. It's kind of crazy how they not only predicted the fact that President Trump would win the election, but also just more detail about him leaving office. I honestly would love to take a peek at the crystal ball that the writers seem to have. Coming in at number eight, we have the election results. Back in 2012, it said that the Simpsons managed to predict the exact outcome of the 2020 election results. This one is fairly creepy. So the prediction takes place in a Fox special called Mr. Burns Endorses Romney, and it was for the 2012 presidential election. It's only a minute and 50 seconds long, but in it we see Mr. Burns in front of a map, showing the red and blue states for the election. What's freaky is that they look very similar to the 2020 Biden and Trump electoral map. I mean, at first glance, it looks identical, meaning the Simpsons somehow predicted the outcome of each and every state. Upon closer inspection, they did get one thing wrong, which was Arizona. The show had it as a red state, but in reality, it was blue. So, how did they manage to pretty much get the exact election results? Keep in mind, the episode is eight years old. Coming in at number seven, we have Trump's death. This image of an animated President Trump in a coffin has circulated the internet many times, especially in the last four years. In 2020, the image gained much more popularity after President Trump, as well as his wife, were tested positive for the coronavirus. Then people began to speculate that the Simpsons predicted President Trump passing away. Last year, there was a TikTok that went viral telling people that on the 27th of August, something big was gonna happen. More and more people began to run with this trend and soon everyone was talking about what was going to happen on the 27th of August. And it ended up getting linked to this image from The Simpsons. People were saying that the episode had predicted his death and that it would occur on that date. Well, obviously that didn't happen as it turns out the picture was actually fake. While most people assumed it was a still taken from an episode. This actually never happened once throughout the series. But who knows, maybe in the future, The Simpsons will come out with an episode that will have that. Who knows? And at number six, we have the Civil War. With the events that took place on January 6th at Capitol Hill, the hashtag Civil War is trending on Twitter. A lot of people are scared that a war will break out once Joe Biden takes Trump's spot at president. Let's hope that's not the case. But people quickly turn to The Simpsons to see how this might pan out. You know, because they're psychic. In particular, let's look at the Treehouse of Horror Halloween special. In this special, which aired on November 1st, 2020, it starts with Homer having to vote for either Putin or Trump in the election. Fast forward, the episode cuts to a scene that says January 20th, 2021, Inauguration Day. And it's basically the apocalypse. Homer is on his roof wearing pots and pans as armor, typical Homer, while his town is destroyed and on fire. 
Obviously, inauguration hasn't happened yet, but people are fearful that when it does, a civil war will happen and that this Simpsons prediction will come true. We are now at our fifth and halfway mark with the statue stealing. Now, there are two instances of statue stealing that I want to talk about that may have foreshadowed that photo that I'm sure you guys have all seen of one of the rioters carrying the podium around after he stormed Capitol Hill. The first time is in an episode called The Telltale Head, where we see Bart steal the head of the Jebediah Springfield statue. The second instance is from season 11, episode 12, called The Mansion Family. In this episode, as the family is leaving an award show, after Homer didn't win an award, we see him attempting to drag a much larger version of the award statue out of the venue with him. He exclaims to the family, what a great night it was for everyone, before Marge quickly lets him know that the statue is not an award, but actually is set decoration. While this isn't an exact prediction of the events that we saw at Capitol Hill, that guy carrying the podium probably could have just used some of Marge's advice. And when you compare the images side by side, it does look a little freaky. In our fourth spot, we have Ivanka 2028. In the season 28 Halloween episode of The Simpsons, right at the beginning, we see the family dressed up in costumes as they are trick or treating. Homer is dressed as Bender from Futurama, which is a hilarious crossover joke, but that's not why we're here. At one point, Homer opens up the front part of his costume to reveal that he's wearing an Ivanka 2028 pin. Now, it's only 2021, so we don't know if she's gonna run in 2028. Who knows, okay, it's The Simpsons. It could happen. Moving on to number three, we have The Rioter. On January 6th of 2021, an angry mob of President Trump's supporters stormed Capitol Hill, as you've probably heard. There were thousands of rioters that showed up to cause violence and you get the gist. They began smashing windows and vandalizing the building, and the rioters ended up getting into the Senate chamber, where prior, the election results were being certified. Many were seen waving Trump 2020 flags or wearing Keep America Great memorabilia. After this happened, an image started circulating on Twitter of what happens to be groundskeeper Willie, wearing an outrageous outfit with tattoos and face paint on his body. In fact, it was the same outfit that a rioter named Jake Angeli was wearing as he stormed Capitol Hill. Both Willie and Jake were seen wearing a fur hat with horns sticking out. They had face paint on their face in the colors of the American flag, and they have the same tattoos. This freaked everyone out. Like, how could the Simpsons predict this down to every last detail? Now, it turns out that this prediction is false. It had been photoshopped on purpose to look like the rioter. But the Simpsons may have still predicted the riots. Which takes me to my next point. And at number two, we have the riots. So let's continue on with the recent riot that happened at Capitol Hill. What's creepy is the fact that the Simpsons might have predicted this in a number of different episodes. One of the times was during an episode titled Beyond Blunderdome, which was released in 1999. This episode features Mel Gibson and is meant to be a parody of the film Mr. Smith Goes to Washington. In this episode, Mel's character starts shooting at congressmen and causes hell on the Senate floor. It ends with him blowing up the building. Thankfully, that did not happen, but people think that this episode foreshadows what is yet to come. And in our number one spot, we have the storming of Capitol Hill. Again, another very scary prediction about Capitol Hill. For this, let's take a look at the 1996 episode titled The Day the Violence Died. This episode was meant to be a parody of the 1976 Schoolhouse Rock segment, I'm Just a Bill. The Simpsons version was, I'm an amendment to be. In the episode when the amendment is ratified, the character then says, doors open boys, to which a ton of other amendments or bill looking characters start storming up the steps of the Capitol Hill building. They're holding a bunch of weapons to defend themselves. Some have been making the comparison that this is what the actual scene at the Capitol building looked like on January 6th. It's pretty creepy. All right guys, let's move right along to our comment shout out portion. I'll be shouting out comments from the video, top 10 dark UFO sightings with multiple witnesses. Oh. September Rain commented, with everything happening, I would not be surprised if aliens came down to earth this year. No, I'm not ready for aliens. They may be among us. There's an imposter among us, several. I'm not ready for it though. Aliens, please just, if you're watching this, thank you for subscribing, give it a big thumbs up. But also, just stay hidden. <laughs> Pikachu Overlord commented that awkward moment when you hear bless you after you sneeze, but you're home alone. Okay, literally this happened to me. 
oh my god, it's gonna be like a story time. But basically, I sneezed by my basement stairs and I heard bless you from the basement. I was like, um, who's there? Grabbed a knife, went down. Um, it was a commercial on for Kleenex commercial. Um, so in the ad, it was like, bless you. But anyway, there you go, it scared me. Tom Lawrence commented, Pentagon has been given six months to release everything they know about UFOs and declassify it. I heard this too. I'm a little scared. I kind of want to know, but also I kind of want them to keep it to themselves because then who knows what's going to happen if we know that aliens are real, then aliens are going to be like, yo, we come in peace, jokes. I don't know. Anyways, guys, that's all the comments I've shout out for today's video. Make sure to comment something down below for a chance to be featured in my next comment shout out. And as always, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to Most Amazing Top 10 for more amazing videos. I've been your host, Lindsay Ivan, and I'll see you when I see ya.